Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jamma. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky. Are you talking to yourself? Or are you listening to yourself? Ooh. And if you're listening to yourself, are you listening to the right soundtrack? And if you're talking to yourself... Are you saying the right things? Oh, that's a lot to unpack. I know. Well, let's get started. I asked a guy the other day, would you talk to your five-year-old self that way? And he said, well, my five-year-old self wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's harsh. He just put himself down. That, and that's exactly how a lot of us talk to ourselves: is we say... Why are you so stupid? Why can't you get this? Why aren't you getting it right? Why are you not successful? We we disempower ourselves emotionally and physically by the language that we use to ourselves internally. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we even say it out loud. So it's changing that talk track and recognizing because a lot of times we don't even I, recognize. You know what? what? We're to I've ourselves. actually heard. I've heard my mom say that before. I'm so stupid. How could I be so stupid? Can you ima- what would you can you imagine what life would be like if you actually heard the thought bubbles that people say about themselves? Oh gosh, would you want people to hear to see your thought bubbles? I wouldn't want people to hear sometimes what my thought bubbles were about them sometimes. Oh. That's just being honest. <laughs> uh, I I don't really have thought bubbles about other people, but I I Think I things do. about myself. Like I often think, oh my gosh, I am such a fool. Like why did I say that? I think that a lot. Like I why did I just say that? What I would never want is thought bubbles above my car or on my back windshield that actually were what I was truly thinking. When you're driving. When I'm driving. Yeah, you you get an energy when you're driving. It it I don't like sometimes being in the car when you're driving. I can feel your energy. I'm an empath. If I'm not, so I not only feel Jason's energy, but I can sometimes feel the energy of other people on the road. Oh, did you just hear that? That t- Tinkerbell just. Blew through here. <laughs> and I, like, I ding, literally, right. I literally am like, I don't want to be here. <clears throat> I would rather click my heels. If <laughs> I'm not, if I'm not listening to an audible or a book on tape or something like, or book on tape, an audible, mm-hmm. then I, I don't. I will be focused on what other people are doing. I'll be, I'll, I'll be more in a hurry. I need that kind of meditative knowledge center, Windshield mm-hmm. University, to keep my mind focused. Did you just call it Windshield University? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's just the way I, to occupy my time to say, you know what, this is, it's not, I'm not in a rush. I'm, I'm in the now and I'm here to learn. I'm not here to be in a hurry to get to the next spot. I'm just here to learn. And if somebody is slowing me down or if there's an, if the traffic is, is bad, I'm just, it gives me more classroom time. You know where I get really competitive in the, the driving realm? It's the only place. Chick-fil-A drive through Yeah. How did you know? Like, don't, I was, I gave my order I, first. Don't I, you get in front of me. Yes. <laughs> that is the only place. Otherwise, I, I am so calm, cool, and collected. I'm like, no, you know what? I, I mean, I, I had my tickets in my 30s, but in my 40s, I'm like, you know what? I'll just take my time. I am mellow. I am chill. I will just listen to my my faith music. It's and I order. love, I love my time in my car. But you get me in that Chick-fil-A line. <laughs> Well, I th- is it so? Is it the fact that you're you got the prize and you see the prize and you're trying to get to the finish line, or is it your sense of order and justice? Because you, know I don't know, but it also bothers me. It also bothers me when <laughs> let's open up this can of whoop ass here. It <laughs> bothers me when they skip my car and deliver it, deliver the food to the cars behind me. Well, it was ready. I know, but then those cars... They should sneak out the back door. They drive out of line, and I don't like that. And the uh, oh, the other <laughs> thing... Remember when they used to put a three-inch... A- and here's the thing. A seven-inch curb okay, you couldn't so get out. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you all. So our neighbor, four houses down, 
is the owner of the Chick-fil-A. Two Chick-fil-A. Of two Chick-fil-A's I now? I think they're getting a third. No. I think so. I'm not positive. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the owner of three Chick-fil-A's. And I feel like maybe I need to share this podcast with him and her. Or. Or the family. Or we should just get a Chick-fil-A badge so that they know these are the rules when we come through the line. Maybe we Don't need to set some out. rules. We need to set some rules. We, do you know who we are? And we know the owners. Okay, so here's the thing. So today we're talking about, <laughs> today we're talking about, are you talking to yourself or listening to yourself? And I, I think I'm not alone on this. When you're going through the Chick-fil-A drive through I think other people are saying the same thing. I think people are doing that do it in a Chick-fil-A drive through I think they're doing it at the red lights. I think they're I watch people speed up to get to the next red light just so nobody gets in front of no, them. No, I, I kid you not. The last time I went through the Chick-fil-A drive through I thought that I was gonna get in a fender bender just just so nudging in line. Just nudging of who was next. I was clearly next. I was clearly next. Well, and we were literally inches apart. And I was like, no, how dare you trying to get in front of me? This is why you need a Hummer and not a Mini Cooper. The- I, I, I feel like my Mini Cooper takes up as much space as is needed. <laughs> like it, it rules the road. It does rule the road. It's just, I don't know. There, there's something about those Chick Fil A lines, and then, and then, just when my blood starts to boil a little bit, then they say, "It's my, my pleasure,", pleasure. <laughs> and that kind of just rubs a, this is the thing. a little salt in the wound. It's going to be my pleasure to go to the people behind you first, just so you know. And that bothers me. <laughs> That bothers me so much. And then the the last thing about the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, and then I promise you I'll get back to what we were talking about. But the last thing that bothers me is that they have now like three entrances to the parking lot to get to the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Only one entrance into the drive-thru. Yes. <laughs> And if you pick the wrong, so if so, you pick the wrong one, you have to drive around, it's a very and then Darwin-esque. someone, someone else comes in that right entrance. Yeah, and I'm like, no, wait a minute. I was in I, the parking lot first. I just did a lap around the parking it's a, lot. It's a Darwin design, and you're gonna come in right yeah. at when I've done three fourths of a lap, and you're gonna come in and merge. Cut the line. You're gonna merge. You just got off the highway, sir, and I've been parking lotting it for the last two and a half minutes, 45 seconds maybe. It's a Darwin designed parking lot. It's to, designed to call out people that use the wrong entrance <laughs> and make them starve to death. I don't like For it. the next seven minutes. I don't like it one bit <laughs> because I had, to literally, <laughs> I had to literally stop twice to let the, because now they have the, if you order on the app, then mm, people come out. There's an app for that. People come out to deliver. So I had to stop twice to let the the app deliveries. Tell me this. Did you use Waze or Google Maps to get into the parking lot? Oh, see, you know what? <laughs> we've, we've gone way over. What We haven't and gone now... over, but what are you telling yourself or what are you listening to when you talk to yourself? Okay, so... Yeah. Trying to get out of this conversation. We've gone way over. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. That's what you're telling yourself. <laughs> well, you know, I I like to meditate. And I... That's huge. Meditating to me is listening. And praying is talking. Oh, that's huge. That's a great distinction. So I feel like you've told me that before. And I let like a scotoma or something get in the way of me remembering it. And that's, that's big because meditation is kind of learning the language. Prayer is using the language. Mm -hmm. And then for me, a lot of times it's, I have to be super intentional about saying, this is, this is the kind of day I'm going to have. I'm going to talk to myself in this language 
and then being aware of and having you as my accountability partner saying, hey, is that incongruence with the way you said we were going to be living? Because we chose extraordinary. And in the mornings, I choose to to have enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. And you're like, hey, this that's not congruent with extraordinary or enthusiasm. Right. <laughs> you're kind of offbeat on both of those. So change your language, pal. And let's refocus and get, get back in alignment. And honestly, I'm not sure going through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru is really incongruence at, at all times. I mean, well, maybe some, every now and then it is. Well, and and when I do get upset, I I was gonna say the way that I handle it is I just start start snarfing down those <laughs> nuggets, those nuggets, those devil nuggets, but they're really God's nuggets. And, and I, I give one to myself and one, <laughs> one to, to Tater. <laughs> and that's sharing is caring, especially with Tater, because you're really going through the line for her. So just be grateful. Oh, and did you know that they have puff? Do they have dog? Yeah, Don doggy donuts. Or uh, something? They they offered Tater a it's it's Is it like doggy a, ice cream. It's a paw puff. I don't even know what that and means. I, that's what dirty. I said. I said, "What is a paw puff?" And is it extra? And they, <laughs> that's what I asked. It'll and be my pleasure if you could just let they, the dog out of the corner. They said he kind of whispered. He said, "Really, it's just a a plate of whipped cream for the dog." Oh. And I said. Oh well, oh, that my husband would like that. Right. Sounds like a big old mess in my car, <laughs> doesn't it? That sounds like a Labrador's dream, a golden golden retriever or a Labrador's dream. Is Maybe if you're at home cream. or outside, but not in my Mini Cooper. No, in a, in the back of a Ford F one fifty or Chevrolet Silverado on a summer <laughs> afternoon, yeah. in a rural town. Anyway, ah, uh, okay. So what is your thought bubble saying? And are you... Do you need to pop it or do you need to nurture it? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's all just think about that one today as we, as we sit in the drive-thru of the Chick-fil-A. <laughs> what drive-thru are you sitting in this morning? <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.